Hello and welcome to Namja Gamja plays Fallout 4 Part 2, just the vocab. If you don't want to watch the whole video of me playing video games, that's okay. This is just the vocabulary uh, from that video. If you want to see how the vocabulary fits into the context of the game, uh, click on the link in the description. Enjoy! There are four vocab words, even though we only got to see two of them in the main video. We'll start with the ones that we have already talked about. The first one is your better half. Your better half is your spouse, as in your husband or wife. Okay, It's kind of a nice way of talking about uh, your partner. So if you say, this person is my better half, it's like saying, this person is... Uh, one half of the relationship that we have, the unit that we have created, and they are nicer and better than me, and I love them. Aww. So that's nice. You could just say your spouse, but that's kind of a neutral word, uh, and so it doesn't really have any emotional uh, importance. To stick together means to stay together. Pretty easy. Or to unite. Or to have a relationship for a long time or to work together for a long time so for example my girlfriend and I argue a lot but we have decided to stick together yeah or in the video game we saw the dog and we say hey do you want to stick together for a little while which means do you want to come with me and hang out with me and be with me Cool. Let's stick together. Okay, so the vocab that I cut off at the end of the recording, uh, take it easy, means relax or calm down. Just take it easy. Right. When I returned to the, the good people, the group of people, uh, the leader was talking to the group because they were kind of acting crazy. And he said, everyone, take it easy. Everyone, stop acting crazy. Calm your emotions. Right? So this is an instruction. Take it easy can mean a couple of things as well, though. Uh, like it means just generally to relax. So you can use it as a part of a sentence. For example, I like to take it easy on the weekend. Or when I go on vacation, I don't like to stress out. I want to take it easy on the beach. So you can use it like, almost like a synonym for relax. The last expression was a man out of time. I chose this because it's actually a pun, which is very interesting. Puns, I explained in an earlier Namja Gamja video when I was playing a tofu boyfriend. So you can go back and listen to those as well if you want some more examples. But a pun is basically a word or an expression that means two things at the same time in a sentence. Uh, and usually it's used as a joke uh, or trying to be clever. I explained what puns are in detail in an earlier video, so I'm not going to talk about it too much here. But my character in Fallout 4 is a man out of time, one of the survivors of the good group of people says. So, I thought that was a good expression, right? So, if you are out of time, it means that you've run out of time. Like, you don't have any time left to do something, right? So, that's bad. That's a bad thing, right? So, your boss comes to you and says, is that report ready? And you say, not yet. I'm just finishing it. He says, too late. You're out of time. I need it now, right? You don't have any more time left. But also, a man out of time is very literally, I'm not in my time period anymore. Because I got frozen in the game for 200 years. Wow, that means that I'm not in my time, right? So when that character said that I was a man out of time, it meant two different things at the same time. That I had run out of time, that I didn't have any time left. But also, my time period 
was in the past. I'm a time traveler since I got frozen. And one of the other reasons why I chose this expression is because they actually use this exact same pun in the Captain America movies. Because Captain America is in the same situation as my character. In the Captain America comics and movies, he gets frozen uh, and then uh, gets unfrozen in the, f in the future, which is our present, right? And so he actually came from uh, World War II, but now he's alive still because he got frozen. So Red Skull, I think, at the end of the first Captain America movie, definitely says, you are a man out of time. <laughs> so it seems to be a, a pun that comes up quite often. Uh, so it's interesting. I think that's why I chose it. That's it.